Here goes nothing. Shit, look here, boy. Use the bar. Ah! Ah! Fuck it out. See, that's why. That's why we don't do this kind of thing. I just hope my aero bars aren't busted. Good day my friends and welcome to another episode of My Frequencies. It's your host Jason at your service. So I got up early this morning. Actually, actually I got up late. So this morning I bought myself a one-way ticket to Payne Mountain, which is right up that way. Actually I tell a lie. They had a special offer on this morning so I bought a return. But I am returning down Mud Valley, which is no walk in the park. So I've been excitedly viewing the high altitude imagery of the area of France that I'm going to be moving to in about five weeks time. It's just going to be a great playground for me and this bike. We're actually getting uh, quite close to the steep bit now. This old boy up ahead went past me just back there. He's on a road bike, see? And I'm on, well, I'm thinking his knees are going to give out when he gets to that bend up there because that's where it gets really steep. I'm going to put this camera down in a second and reel him in. So just catch my breath here and then I've got the final little climb. And I can't see that guy. Where is he? It's a steep bit. There he is, at the top. He smashed me. Although I did give him a head start because Fiddle around with camera mounts ain't a quick job. Right, let's go. Can't see him now. So, looking on the bright side of getting beaten to the top of this climb by an old boy. At least I know when I'm 60 or whatever he is, I could just chop this beast in for a road bike and still climb the hills, right? This little gravel track is new. There you have it. That is Portland. Portland Island over there. That looks a bit committed for me. Even that, even that's too steep. Oh yes, that's more my kind of thing. Oh, that looks good, that one. I reckon I can ride that. Right, that's enough of that. I'm going to head back down via Mud Valley now. So we're going to follow this new trail, see where it leads. Good day. Just a bit, yeah. <laughs> oh, right then, this looks fucking awesome, actually. <laughs> Quick. Hey, not bad, yeah. Would you like a frothy white milk? No, no milk, just, just black. black, yeah, please. So I don't really need to justify coffee to myself, but the way I do do it is that I'm not partaking in this, this, or this, which is right out of the diet now. Oh yes, a little bit of caffeine, never hurt anyone. Right, we 
got to be getting close to Mud Valley now. It's been a bit muddy. Well, this is usually a lot muddier. <laughs> Ready for a big skid. Yeah, Mud Valley's dry. Nothing to it. What the hell is that? You can probably ride down that, I reckon. <sighs> oh my God. Holy shit. So they never look as, as dangerous from the bottom as they do from the top. I think we've got the bike up here now, so have to do it really. I think what a lovely area though. Beautiful place to die. Let's just have a look. I mean, here's the thing. It's nice to hear. Then it gets a bit, whoa! I can't even walk down it. I'm gonna to have to put the camera at a ridiculous angle because we're going down so steep. Here we go. Here's a steep bit. Holy oh, shit. To run it out. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. Let's do it again. You can see my line here. Line choice, it was the sensible man's option. I think the dangerous man's option would be more to the left here than riding right down that little chalk line there. So we'll try and go for that. Honestly, it never looks as dangerous on these cameras as it does in reality. Right, off we go. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my god, oh, I missed it. <laughs> I actually went down a steeper bit than I intended, but hey. It's amazing what you can get away with. So obviously I'm fully capable of riding things like that. And the bike's capable as well. Like I say, it's got a, an old set of forks, but they're decent forks. And the main reason I avoid things like that is because, oh no, I want to ride this now. Is because there's just a lot of risk involved. If you get it wrong, you know, you might just be breaking a mud guard, but if, it's, if you really get it wrong, you might break your arrows, your rack, stuff I can't really afford to replace. And I'm doing this massive ride in just over a month's time. Here goes nothing. Shit, look here, boy. Fucking hell. Use the burns. Ah! Fucking hell. See, that's why, that's why we don't do this kind of thing. I just hope my aero bars aren't busted. Oh, God damn it. That is how heavy this bike is. I can't even lift it off my body. It's all right, she's in one piece. Okay. All right, thank you. Warning accepted. Taking it nice and steady now. Lovely. That's why we got mud guards. Amazing, I love this machine. We gonna fly the bullies and the sailors. There you have it guys. Hardy's monument, Mud Valley. Thanks for riding with me today. Stay tuned to this frequency. the thing guys you can't just go for a nice bicycle ride in the countryside if you ever go for a ride with me you'll find that I'm forever making tripods out of branches oh wow don't even need a third one it's staying up with two you see the trouble I go through to get these epic shots for the channel oh shit about half an hour later finally built a little tripod there we go so if you see one of these in the forest that's not done by sasquatch that's done by mountain bikers oh yes and that is the perfect angle Look at that. 
need to run up. Go.